We are about to go on a mini road trip today. We have been indoors in Toronto for about three months at this point, so we're going to get ice cream in Niagara on Lake. When we think of our past trips, the first thing that comes to mind is always, well, there's an airplane, so that. But today is a road trip. An hour and a half later and we are in Niagara, Niagara. <laughs> on the lake. <laughs> it's so cute here. Everything looks like you're in Gilmore Girls. Although I will say I feel like it's very different when it's like peak season. By that I mean I know it is because we've been here for it. Peak season here is crazy. Everyone's like going on their bicycles from winery to winery and drinking and eating and going to shows and going. Do people go on the lake? I don't know. Is that a dumb thing to ask? Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken by the sea. <laughs> so stupid. This time at home has made an hour and a half out of the city seem like a huge vacation. Traveling has always been such a big part of our lives that being home and not being able to really go anywhere for the past three months has really made us rethink what we think of as travel. The an hour and a half that we have done to get here in the past would have been nothing, but now it seems like a total getaway. It's like it's really nice and it's just a totally different way of thinking about travel. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be on an airplane or on a boat or on a train or even like a 10 day road trip. It can be one and a half hours and it's a little vacation. I really wonder how travel is going to change with all of this, like, is it? Oh, hi, mom. This is a nice way to go different places, still feel comfortable and safe, but see new things. Since it's us, you know, the most important part of traveling is food. So let's go get some. <laughs> best thing ever literally is because you know what it's a snack and a cocktail a cocktail how because mm -hmm. it's a drink it melts in your mouth oh <laughs> <laughs> that might be the weirdest thing you've ever said but like okay whatever it makes sense and it works ew what i just licked it like that i don't lick ice cream i chew it uh as if do you think for me i chew ice cream no you lick it. i don't do a full mouth chew i do a small chew but ew who eats it like this I think that's the normal way of actually eating. Can you please leave a comment to let me know if you do that? Because I think it's very weird. How, like how? What's that doing? You're going to be looking for days. Whenever anything goes in my mouth, I need to give it a little chew just to make sure there's nothing put in it. I think the reason why we love food so much, especially, why is that one piece of hair curly? You, you always have one piece of hair. I know, it's crazy. Anyway, I think the reason why we love and focus on food so much when we travel is because we always link food to places or memories. When we think of like Sicily, as we were saying before, we think of our cannolis. But like if I think of Spain, I think of paella or some say palella. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the sound of palella. It has a real Same. ring to it. Sounds more authentic. Yeah. <laughs> you spoke French. <laughs> I think it's like, I think it depends what dialect is Spanish. Can we just look at this house for a second behind me? How cool Oh my is gosh. That? Look at that. Give wow. An up, an up down, a nice up down. Oh yeah. Like even when I think of France, I think of a few things. I think of croissants, of course. As you saw, we had to have our daily fix when we were in Paris last. If you haven't seen that video, you should because it's really good. Yes. We had an assortment of the baked goods area of the buffet. So we had a <laughs> As some might say, croissant, <laughs> a chocolate croissant. <laughs> what was your favorite thing 
weird thing or a good thing or a thing that's like kind of shocking that you've tried on vacation? Shark. In Morocco, we tried shark. We went to a restaurant, we sat down, and basically the second we sat down, we were just given food. It wasn't like we ordered anything. We were just given what we were going to be eating. We didn't even know what it was that we were putting into our mouths. We could just, you could tell if it's a sea creature or if it's a land animal for the most part. We sat down, we were given some courses that were amazing, and then the next course comes. And then we were speaking to a group guide after, and he had informed us that we had just eaten shark. I'm going to yeah. tell you something. Honestly, it tasted good, but it I don't know how good. I feel about the fact that we ate it. Me neither, and I don't know if I would do it again. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at the view. Wow. Mm. Honestly, if it hadn't been for lockdown, we would have never thought to come here and take a walk by the lake. But it feels so nice. And it's so relaxing. Like, it's yeah. so quiet, peaceful, and it smells actually like very refreshing. Food to us is kind of like that pin in a map. Like we had the pizza there, the cannoli there. It's a way for us to remember places that we've been and things that we've seen. It's kind of like our tie to a place. Yeah, it's our heart memory. <laughs> heart and mouth. What was your weirdest food memory that you've eaten on a vacation? This is actually an easy one for me because I'm not super experimental with foods. When we were in Vienna, we were at this amazing restaurant, like one of the best in the entire world. And I said to Elisa before we went because our dad wasn't coming, he's usually the one that will be experimental with Elisa. And so it's just us and I was like, you know what? They bring something weird. I'll try it so you're not alone on this and you have somebody to experience it with. And boy, did she regret it. <laughs> um, the main course came with a calf brain foam. It was delicious, I'll say that. Honestly, it had no flavor. Not like no flavor as in it was bland, but I mean it didn't have a good taste or bad taste. It just tasted like a foam, which makes me wonder if they put what I would call something slightly gross on a menu for shock value. It might be, but you know what? At least you can knock that off the list that it wasn't on. It wasn't gross, but do I need another calf brain foam? Definitely not. And that marks the end of our food journey for today. <laughs> Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more of us. Are you following us on Instagram at AlanaXAliza? And if you're not, you should. We upload new videos every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell.